Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at set position node in geometry nodes. So basically, we have this default cube, and we have geometry nodes set up, and we want to use set position. Okay, this one doesn't seems this this one seems scary at first. Uh, you don't know what this one is doing. And there's this positions and we can use like a vector and we can seems to be like if we just plug in zero 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 into the positions it's gonna zero out the positions completely so everything collapse if you start with the position however it's gonna retain the original position of the object okay so it's basically working on the vertex or positions of the cube look at the spreadsheet this is the original position if we just plug whatever everything is going to collapse into that value if we use vector math however we can retain the position <coughs> the original position and then we can we can offset it or move it we can also, I believe we can, we can multiply it. So this is pretty cool. Let's save this very quickly. Set position study. And okay, so it's multiply, it's like kind of like scaling. We can use random value. If this random value is a uh, okay if this is a vector I think it's clearer and we choose like add we are basically offsetting or displacing the point position let's give it a smaller value okay so yeah, so from this set position works nicely with this position value. You can randomize the seed. So this is, if you want to have like a random cube, you can kind of, uh, you can pipe this seed out and randomize each one of them. It's almost like a, like a pebble generator, more or less. So... So add is useful and and the multiplier. So this is one way uh, you can work and take advantage of set position. <clears throat> another way, uh, let's make another cube and. This time we're gonna try using the curve, text curve, actually string, string curve. So this will generate string, right? If I type in dense, we have this dense as a curve. And I want to make this dancing, so I will use position and set position. So geometry goes in and out. And if we plug in the position, nothing happens until we use the vector math again. And we can move this around and we can random, we can use random value of vector. And we're gonna make this dancing because what's gonna happen, okay, look. What's happening here is we are again we are offsetting the position of the instance because uh, the cool thing about string to curve is that if we take a look okay this is like instance objects for each letter here so under dense and with the this setup position at set position we are offsetting letter so it's like dancing each and every frame is changing the value this is actually really similar uh, 
to this displacement if I explain this using sphere chalk it's the same if we use a box mesh viewer so this is a sphere chalk box I will okay it's pretty small same deal if we use randomize so previously we have like randomize randomize nodes randomize attribute with geometry nodes if I increase the subdivision you can see it's randomizing the position so the same deal if we go back to our geometry nodes and the cube if we actually subdivide yeah we can end up with something like this so it's a cube that has been randomized so back to the our text objects this means we can influence the instance objects I believe we can also randomize the scale this way with the positions I believe multiply okay multiply is just multiplying the position we probably need to have set rotations or set scale at some point for now I guess we can control the multiplier that's cool how about if we want to use noise noise texture is uh, kind of interesting similar to sphere chalk one if we take a look at sphere chalk so we can randomize we can also use noise displays so sphere chalk noise displays and we can we can animate this we can kind of displace it this way using noise so similar similar to this guy we can go back to geometry nodes we can use this noise uh, 3d or noise 4d to influence the position so we can okay try using vector so vector can be a UV to make it dancing we probably in this case we want to have we want to use 4d and we animate the W oh actually no the vector needs to be position okay now seems to be working although this is just the outline you need to turn it into something that can be rendered okay this is the scale of the noise now we are making it dancing it's still slightly jittery but maybe if I use just value with time multiply this with smaller value okay it seems okay it's pretty smooth so currently the noise is like I think it's just normal pearly noise And we, uh, with a, sem a similar setup, we can actually display something like a grid. Let's try a plane. This is geometry node 001. I will use the same one. But I will make it single user. So now this one can be modified differently uh, we can use uh, subdivide so I'm subdividing the grid and displacing it using the noise okay so that's how we can influence this I think we can also zero out
the influence here separate xyz combine xyz and just influence the height zero this out so if we have like a displace similar to displacement modifier yeah I think that's uh, pretty much how far I, I go with this of course okay with the with the text objects you can see string to curve and then it's influencing influencing the instance that means we can also influence the instance objects so if we have like a the monkey head or something if we just bring bring in the monkey head this point position of the grid can be used to instance on points and now the monkey head is dancing based on the noise okay so yeah that's quick look how we can use uh, the set position and the position node to influence uh, geometry hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye